Hello, this is Johnny. Welcome back to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, Checkpoint R80.40 Identity Awareness Break. So let's start with the diagram. I'm having one Checkpoint Firewall IP 172.17.1.21. I have Test Machine 1.42, Management Server 192.168.2.37. My smart console installed on a dot two dot forty one. I have a new infrastructure server AD and SMT server on one nine two one six eight dot two dot twelve. And then we are using router one nine two one six eight dot two dot one to go to internet. That's the infrastructure. This is our firewall. This is our management server. First thing, when we go to the identity awareness, we need to enable it on a gateway. Right click your firewall gateway, choose edit, enable identity awareness braid. Now identity awareness with configuration wizard is going to show up. They're going to ask you a bunch of questions. So here we're going to select how user will be identified by your security gateway. So we will choose all of them. We will choose browser-based authentication and also AD query terminal servers. For terminal servers, we need an agent. Um, probably at this moment, we won't need that. So I can uncheck this one. We want test that. And then we need to create a new domain. So that's our AD server domain. 192.168.2.12. The domain name is 51 sec test.dev and we need to uh, use domain admin admin1 domain controllers we can use dc1 And then we need to connect to it. Just waiting the gateway and the management server connecting to DC1.51 sec test to dev. Okay, successful connected. Next, to activate browser based authentication, define a rule with an access rule like one below. So this one shows captive portal. So we're going to use the main URL. The portal is accessible only through internal interfaces. So which one is our internal interface? That will be defined on a network management. So we can do next. Identity awareness is now active. Finish. We need to add uh, access rule and then we need to install policy and then we can check the firewall logs. That's the basic step to enable identity awareness split, simple and easy. We also can check identity awareness split configuration here from gateways property. Um, there's the identity source. Uh, we already enabled the browser-based authentication using a captive portal to provide identity. You also do the ID query. We also can install identity agent on a client machine and then providing that identity. This is very lightweight agent need to be installed on a user's computers. Also from terminal server, we need the agent as well. Similar thing, identity awareness support using the terminal servers. Radius accounting, we can get the identity data from Radius accounting requests. Identity collector, identity web API, and the last one is remote access. So identity awareness support use IPsec VPN users, endpoint VPN. For our testing purpose, we only use the first two, so I only enable the first two here. One more thing we can do is um, on a management server, we need to enable identity login. So that will add identity information to logs. But it will need the connectivity from gateway and the smart dashboard to activity directory is required. So we already have that. 
Let's try connecting again. It's successfully connected. Okay. Now we're gonna make a policy installation. For this lab, um, we are still need to install one agent, terminal server agent, onto our test server. So there are different type of agents. There's a full and light. We probably need a full agent to get that. You have to go to the your file gateway in this folder and then you should be able to see a uh, full agent and the light agent uh, usually I FTP it out to my server using remote and put full Um, after that, you should be able to get it. So I download it here. You should be able to get it from from your FTP server, um, and um, you can move it to. move from your share folder to your local then you should be able to install it um, by the way I already get my machine joined into domain so I logged in as a, a test1 domain admin user so I mean one and then we should be able to using this terminal server agent and um, authenticating the machine. We can take a look at that. Um, let's take a look at gateway settings. At the same time we're gonna work on our firewall rules. So for the identity awareness, actually we need the uh, terminal service. Let's push your key. Gonna put the push your key here. Okay. Don't forget to install your policy after you made changes. So Windows configures checkpoint identity agent. Let's wait to that. We're gonna create in a policy. Security policy here. New policy above. Um, we're gonna add uh, access law. Um, we just say I Identified users network users. We can specify your users and groups. For example, you can check the admin one. That all test users. So an identified users can go to anywhere uh, when they're using HTTP traffic. Right, and it will be accept other users. We 
gonna add another access lure. Which is unidentified. As any other users, if they go into HTTP, and I'm uh, gonna let them go to captive portal. Right um, now, we're gonna install it. Now, oh, one second. Can enable login. Enable login. Yep, we can um, use in a specific server. PC one. That's our domain controller server. Okay, check about identify agent is setting. Check about identify. That doesn't seem so we don't need it. We connect the server and we log server temp. Okay, let's do connect. Status reconnecting. Okay, then we need to change the settings. Aha, uh -huh. that's uh, our internal server. It's gateway, not our 17.1.21. Uh, we can trust it. That should be fine. Your credential to identify server. Do set test dev. Okay, now it's connected. So, so username is admin one. Um, okay. Now we can go back to our lockers and uh, monitors. Let's search braid. So you can save your braid, search uh, identity awareness. And uh, you can see admin one has been logged in using admin one. Successful login, access lua updated. Um, all looks fine. Okay, policy has been pushed. Then now we can test it. We didn't get any uh, prompt. This is HTTP website. Let's try some HTTP website here as well. So BC cancer, no prompt. If, and uh, let's do this. If we clean up our login session, um, so we on authenticate our machine, then we should get the letter uh, captive portal. That's um, couple thing we need to do is we need to disconnect it. Okay, you have chosen disconnect from the gateway, limit your exit. Okay, we disconnect it. Disconnect is not enough. You need to revoke the token, revoke the session. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do that. Before that, we're gonna check our logs.
user initiated logout. Um, okay. PDP monitor or more. You can see there's a session 2.242 there. We need to clean up this session. It goes just if you try it again, it won't. Even you disconnect it, it's still not show. Gonna, not gonna show you that portal. It will not show you the portal here. So even we show disconnect, we're gonna revoke this token. Revoke this IP basically. IP control revoke. IP one nine two one six eight dot two dot two four two. Okay, there's now two dot two four two, and from the braid identity awareness logs, you should see some revoke information. It's been revoked. Now let's take a look testing again. Same HTTP website. I'm expecting captive portal. It's a little bit slow because they cannot identify the user, they talk to AD, they check everywhere and see if you are logged in. So now you see it's asking us access login so at the same time you still can put admin in admin one using same username and password and then you will go in there but they do with this this will be prompt out this login window network login window amazing isn't it um we can check that two for two again right it should be here show two for two as trusted and the, Authentication method became user and password, which we provided from network access portal. That for identity awareness. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.